Do you like how I just got ready just to put on joggers and a t-shirt? That's my uniform. Today is a momentous day because I am going to be finishing up a project that I started back in March. So it's been a minute. I'm going to be walking you through how I build a IKEA greenhouse cabinet. It's essentially just a normal, typical glass cabinet, but customizing it to the nines, it can be a real greenhouse space for some of my plants. Let's get going. Okay, but first I really need coffee. Okay, coffee lovers, don't come at me. I'm aware this isn't real coffee, but if you've never tried Korean coffee before, you're missing out. So full disclosure, there is a 99.9% .9 chance that I'm actually gonna not be able to get to building this until nighttime because my two kids are gonna wake up from their nap and life will happen, but I'm gonna get started and I'm also gonna be filming some stuff for Instagram and TikTok at the same time. Okay, I literally just stepped on a glass door. I don't think I broke it. If you've seen what this looks like at an Ikea store, you'll notice that the first thing is it's black. Here, my pieces are white. I spray painted them and that was single-handedly the worst decision I've ever made. It was so time consuming and labor intensive. Lost most of my brain cells. Big mistake. But if you are an inquiring mind and want to know how I did this, I used an epoxy spray paint. It is really strong. So if I scratch this, it is not chipping. Okay, but here's my question. This is the manual and it's an X over this one person. So is this saying that I need a friend to build this? Like I can't build this by myself because I'm an independent woman and this isn't happening. And it's freaking crooked. So I have to redo it. This is the bottom part of the cabinet. Let me explain this hole. I'm gonna have a lot of cords feeding through here. The grow lights, the fan. I need a place for all those cords to go through. So I used a hole saw to make a hole in the bottom portion of this. And by I, I mean, I had my neighbor do it. This is the part of the instructions that says, a woman can't do it by herself. Booyah, Ikea. I don't need a man. So putting this on, I just realized there are pretty significant gaps. So I'm gonna need to go in and weather strip this. I'm gonna be using this Frost King rubber foam self-stick weather seal and I'm gonna put it all along the edges. There's still a slight gap here on the top, so I'm gonna double up on the weather stripping here. It's 1 a.m. I'm gonna call it a night, pick this back up in the morning, grab my husband who fell asleep in our daughter's room, throw him into our bed. Oh, oh my god. What is this? Thank you for cleaning. Welcome to day two. When I was looking at this at 1 a.m., it's actually pretty significant gaps. So this is gonna require some weather stripping. We'll see how far I can get before my kids are getting hungry and asking for snacks. The kids wanted a snack. I'm gonna install the doors first and then do this D-type weather stripping. I'm gonna stick it where the door closes. So right when the door closes, that piece of weather strip will be there blocking out any air that can go in or out. Weather stripping is on. I close the door here. There's a perfect seal. So for the gap between the doors, I'm gonna use this flappy flap kind of weather stripping. Flappy flap on. Sealed in between. 
10,000 hours later, cabinet is built. It's fully weather stripped. Now it's time to add the grow lights. It's more important for the light to be facing the front of the leaves. So all the leaves face nicely forward rather than the leaves reaching up towards the light. I'm gonna zip tie these to the corner of the greenhouse. So the lights come with this piece of hardware. I got this little screw and I'm gonna feed it underneath that clip. I'm gonna snap it in like that. These are actually hook magnets, but I took the hook part out and I just got the base. So it looks like that. And then voila, that light is magnetized to the top of that cabinet beautifully. Got a little desk grommet to cover this hole. And that's where all the cords will go. I think having them installed vertically was definitely the right call. But these cords have got to go. These are basic run-of-the-mill cable cord covers. I'm just gonna use some scissors to cut these to size and cover those cords up. Plants do need airflow to prevent any mold or fungal issues and I always keep the fan running 24 hours a day and never turns off so this is also going to be fed through the grommet right here. Oh my. Oh my. Don't stand in that alley. Don't do whatever you want to do alley. Cause I'm gonna do it. So excited about this package. This is the acrylic pegboard shelf kit for Modern Aqua. Shelves are gonna make or break how your cabinet actually looks and functions. This has ventilation, lots of airflow. The original glass shelves are no good. They're very, very heavy. I've seen horror stories of it breaking or cracking from the humidity inside. And because it's a pegboard set, I got little shelves so I can hang even more things and stuff more plants in here. So I'm gonna unbox this. I just realized I made a mistake. I installed this light right where the shelf pin needs to go. So I need to remove it. And it only took me two days and eight months. Okay, so the eight months wasn't really my fault. When I first started building this cabinet after I spray painted it, our house got a major water leak. There was black mold all over the kitchen. We had to move out, relocate, find a new house. The kids started school for the first time. It was probably the most stressful time of my life. But after we all settled in, this was top of the list and I'm so glad because I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think the grow lights vertically was chef's kiss. I did automate everything off of a smart timer so I don't need to turn on or off the lights and fans manually. Everything is automated which is great. I really hope you enjoy the process of me building this and the chaotic life that happens all around it. Everything that I used to make this cabinet is gonna be linked in the description. And let me know what you think in the comments. If you wanna see more videos like this, like and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you next time. Bye. I love you so much.